Lyme disease can affect anyone, and it can affect anyone in any way. Someone can get it from hiking, but someone also can get it from sitting in their yard. Someone can get it from playing with their dog. Someone can get it from raking leaves or doing gardening. It can affect someone in many, many, many different ways. It can cause neurological disorders. It can cause seizures. It can cause mental health issues like anxiety and depression. It can cause seizures. It can cause joint pain and arthritis. It can cause the body to become immunocompromised. It can cause gastrointestinal issues. It can cause respiratory issues. It can cause heart palpitations. And Lyme disease is very much unknown. People do not know a lot about the disease. A big issue for this is the CDC coverage of the disease. There's not a lot of funding for Lyme. And what the CDC does know about Lyme disease often isn't true. They um, have been saying for a long time that there's about 30,000 cases a year and it slipped that their research has actually found that there's about 400,000 cases per year and that's just by their standards. Their standards are the bullseye rash and the ELISA test, which the ELISA test is less than 60% accurate, whereas there are other more accurate tests such as the Western blot and hygienics tests that are 75 and 80 or 90% accurate in determining whether someone has Lyme disease or not. It is unknown why people end up with chronic Lyme. Some people believe that the person was immunocompromised to begin with. Some people believe that it's delayment in treatment. It's very much unknown and the lack of research is will continue for it to be unknown for the future. Treatments for Lyme disease are typically with early Lyme disease, which is the rash still showing up, and flu-like symptoms, sometimes mono-like symptoms. The treatment is two to four weeks of doxycycline, according to CDC. Doxycycline is an antibiotic. If Lyme disease persists, Typically, it's just more doxycycline. If Lyme disease continues to persist, the CDC considers it post-treatment Lyme syndrome because according to their tests, there is no way to determine if Lyme disease is cured. So the doctor can't prove if you're cured or not. So they just say that you are and you're still showing symptoms and that's weird. Doctors, Many doctors outside of the CDC follow ILADS, International Lyme Disease Association, and they have determined that chronic Lyme is a thing. Chronic Lyme is when Lyme disease will not leave the body due to the way that the CDC treats it. Sometimes it works with um, some doctors believe that ext extended periods of antibiotics like doxycycline can help improve it along with immunosuppressants like um, rheumatoid arthritis medications along with supplements and other things to help the person feel better in that time. Sometimes occasionally pain medications or even mobility devices like canes, walkers, or crotches. Some doctors even go as far as intravenous antibiotics, which the person will have to go in and to a clinic and the antibiotic will be put directly into them. This is the strongest approach and typically more of a last resort. There is not a lot of research for Lyme, so people do not know a lot about how it affects people long term and what the issues are and how co-infections affect people and how Lyme disease affects the co-infections. But co-infections are pretty common, such as Babesia, Bartonella, and even Mono are some of the common 
Skyrim.